What happens when there is sexual tension between friends? We're likely familiar with the song, and you say he's just a friend. Today, we'll delve into the song's core theme, sexual tension. In some situations, friends may find themselves contemplating whether there's an underlying romantic dynamic in their relationship and whether others can perceive it. We'll explore queries such as how to handle the presence of sexual tension and shed light on why it can manifest between friends. Sensing sexual tension might signify deeper emotions, or it could be inconsequential. Continue reading to gain insights on how to navigate this situation when you encounter it. What is sexual tension? What does it feel like? Do you often find yourself gravitating toward the same friend, relishing the subtle brush of your arms against theirs, and sensing a certain spark in your eye contact? That's what we call sexual tension. Do you engage in playful teasing, continuously seeking ways to be close to them or make physical contact? Perhaps you find yourselves engaging in light tickling or holding on to hugs a bit longer than with your other friends. Again, these are signs of sexual tension. When two individuals interact, and one or both harbor strong sexual desires for the other, yet they refrain from acting on those desires, it can give rise to sexual tension. It's that sensation of anticipation, the feeling that something of a sexual nature might transpire between them. This often creates an electric, albeit somewhat charged, atmosphere that is usually quite pleasurable. At times, it might seem like the only way to dissipate this sexual tension is to act on those desires. You might find yourself sexually attracted to your closest friend, yearning for that elusive kiss and more. What causes sexual tension? When two individuals share a mutual sexual attraction or when one person is drawn to another, a host of sexual feelings and desires can intensify, giving rise to what we commonly refer to as sexual tension. Frequently, both parties involved choose to suppress or deny their attraction to each other. This restraint results in a situation where their sexual desires remain unexpressed, and neither person takes any action to pursue anything of a sexual nature with the other. The act of suppressing these desires fosters an environment charged with sexual tension, particularly noticeable in group settings. There's an undeniable sexual chemistry between the two individuals, they engage in playful flirting, exchange jokes, share laughter, and may engage in subtle physical contact, yet they refrain from progressing beyond that point. This dynamic arises from a mutual attraction that characterizes the experience of sexual tension. Interestingly, for many, the sensation of sexual tension can be almost as gratifying as the actual act of sex itself, particularly when it involves a specific person. Why do I feel sexually attracted to my friend? Experiencing sexual attraction is a perfectly normal aspect of human behavior. Most individuals will encounter feelings of sexual attraction towards others, often multiple individuals, throughout their lives. These attractions can be prompted by a person's physical appearance, their personality, or a combination of both, and they can intensify with prolonged interaction. Signs of sexual attraction encompass Eye contact, engaging in meaningful eye contact. Staring, occasional prolonged gazes at the other person, often unintentional but driven by an irresistible urge to look at the person of interest. Physical contact, initiating or welcoming physical touch. Smiling, frequent and genuine smiles. Flirting, playful and flirtatious behavior. Nervousness and increased heart rate, feelings of nervousness, often accompanied by an elevated heart rate. Flirtatious body language and gestures, expressing attraction through various body language cues. Research studies that have undergone peer review have demonstrated that individuals who experience sexual attraction are more likely to engage in extended periods of eye contact. Prolonged eye contact can be an indicator of attraction. Additionally, they might find themselves unintentionally staring at each other, driven by an unconscious desire to continuously admire the person they are attracted to. Gazing at each other can contribute to the creation of sexual tension, which can be further intensified by subtle physical contact. Sexual tension often leads to heightened activity in our sex hormones, as we are driven by a strong desire to act on our attractions. People experiencing sexual tension tend to position themselves closely to each other and seize opportunities for physical contact, even if it's as subtle as brushing their arms or legs against each other. Increased smiling, laughter, and light teasing are also common behaviors in such situations. 
Moreover, individuals may experience nervousness around the person they are attracted to, as they earnestly hope for reciprocation of their feelings. Can you just be friends with someone when there's so much sexual tension? Sexual tension should not necessarily hinder your ability to maintain a friendship. If both parties share these feelings and are at ease with the presence of sexual chemistry, there's no inherent reason why you can't remain friends. However, if you find yourself experiencing unwanted sexual tension with a friend, it may be beneficial to address the issue to alleviate any discomfort. This might involve having an uncomfortable conversation, but unresolved negative sexual tension can be unsettling and often encroaches upon personal boundaries. On the other hand, when it's a case of one person experiencing sexual attraction towards another while the other person does not reciprocate those feelings, it becomes crucial to consider the emotions of the latter individual. It's important to ensure that they feel comfortable maintaining a friendship, especially when they are aware of the sexual tension that arises whenever you're together. Is it okay to feel sexual tension? Indeed, it's entirely normal. Many individuals will, at some point, experience intense sexual desires towards their friends. Remember, you're not alone in this experience. These desires can become particularly potent when the person in question is in close proximity but remains off-limits. You might find yourself thinking, friends aren't supposed to feel this way about each other, but it's important to realize that many people do experience sexual attraction towards their friends. People may navigate sexual tension in various ways. For instance, some individuals may harbor sexual attraction towards one or more of their friends, yet those friends do not reciprocate those feelings, resulting in a situation where nothing comes to fruition, and no one speaks about it. Conversely, some people may share genuine sexual chemistry with a friend. Both parties are sexually attracted to each other, and this attraction may be perceptible to their other friends, who might even comment on it or make playful remarks. In some cases, individuals might have encountered sexual tension with their friends so intensely that they acted on it, potentially leading to changes in their friendship dynamics. Whether such changes enhance or strain the friendship depends on the two individuals involved, the nature of their friendship, and how they respond to the situation. Should I act on sexual tension? The course of action to take in this situation ultimately hinges on your personal desires and the feelings of the individual involved. Consider what you hope to achieve. Are you interested in pursuing a romantic relationship with this person, or do you simply enjoy their company and the sexual chemistry you share when you're together? It's also essential to understand the other person's intentions. Have you spoken to them about their feelings? While initiating such a conversation might seem awkward, it's a necessary step because you may never truly comprehend what could develop without that dialogue. It's entirely possible that they are also contemplating whether they should take action. If your goal is to maintain a friendship with this person, it's essential to recognize that acting on your feelings could potentially jeopardize that relationship. This underscores the importance of open communication with your friend to ascertain how they feel and what they desire. A study conducted in 2000 discovered that engaging in sexual activity between friends could actually enhance the overall relationship. Moreover, the study revealed that many friends who engaged in sexual activity did not transition into romantic partnerships. Individuals interact in various ways, and sexual tension can naturally develop at times. What truly matters is honesty with your friend. Both of you need to comprehend each other's emotions and respect each other's feelings. If one person seeks a romantic relationship while the other only desires a sexual connection, it's unwise to act on those desires, as it could have adverse consequences for the friendship. Initiating a sexual advance that goes unreciprocated might lead to awkwardness within the relationship. If the person you're attracted to is of the opposite sex, it might be beneficial to educate yourself about their sexuality and understand how it functions. Particularly with women, there can be societal stigmas or misconceptions regarding sexuality. However, it's crucial to recognize that there's nothing wrong with sexual desires or sexual activity. You can explore scholarly articles and conduct research in addition to discussing these matters with your friends. Enhancing your understanding of the other person's sexuality can only be beneficial in the long run. Additionally, consider the possibility that one or both of you may be in committed relationships with other individuals. 
In such cases, it's vital to refrain from acting on your desires, as it could potentially cause harm to others and yourself. If both of you genuinely wish to be together, it's important to conclude your current relationships out of respect for your partners. While this process may be challenging, infidelity should be avoided, as it could convey to your friend that you might engage in unfaithfulness if a relationship were to develop between you. Can other people sense sexual tension? Do your other friends pick up on the underlying sexual tension between you and this person? You might not be inclined to openly discuss what transpires when you're in the presence of the object of your attraction, but it's quite likely that they already sense it. When there's a significant amount of sexual tension between two individuals, those who observe you together may indeed detect it. However, this perception greatly depends on the context. At times, the sexual tension may seem so palpable to you that you assume others must surely notice it as well. Nevertheless, you'd be surprised how little the people around you tend to pick up on subtle, specific cues. Occasionally, an exceptionally perceptive friend might discern it, but if you're concerned about others noticing, you can generally rest assured that the most delicate indicators of sexual tension remain confined to your interactions with the other person. As your flirtatious gestures become more pronounced and physical, it becomes increasingly likely that others will begin to perceive the sexual tension. When it takes on a more overt physical dimension, people tend to notice it. Sometimes, if you wish for the other party to recognize your flirting, you may need to be more explicit in your advances. If the idea of others noticing the sexual tension causes you stress or concern, you can opt to maintain your flirtatious interactions with your friend discreetly. It's important to remember, though, that you aren't engaging in any wrongdoing. Sexual tension is a natural human response, and it's something that most individuals will encounter at some point in their lives. It's worth noting that sexual tension can even arise between same-sex friends. There is absolutely nothing inappropriate about this, as such tension has been a part of human interactions since time immemorial and will continue to exist. Once again, it's essential to understand that you're not doing anything wrong. What should I do if this sexual tension feels wrong? If you discover that the sexual tension between you and your friend feels uncomfortable, disruptive to your friendship, or overwhelming to handle, you might find yourself at a loss for how to proceed. You could feel compelled to conceal those emotions. However, it's important to recognize that there is nothing inherently wrong with experiencing sexual attraction towards a friend. Below are some potential actions to contemplate if you're dissatisfied with your current situation. Talk to your friend. Share your feelings with your friend openly. Remember that experiencing sexual attraction is a natural part of life, and they may even find it flattering. If you've been wondering, does my male friend have feelings for me, engaging in a candid conversation with them can be an effective way to alleviate any tension within the relationship, provided you feel comfortable doing so. There are numerous ways to express your emotions to someone. You might begin with statements like, I've developed feelings for you, I've been attracted to you for a while, or even, have you ever considered the possibility of us being more than friends? Start gently to initiate the conversation, gauge their response, and proceed accordingly. Sharing your feelings can be instrumental in determining the next steps. In either case, knowing how your friend feels about you can provide a sense of relief. When you approach this discussion, don't merely inquire about their emotions, also inquire about their thoughts on how to move forward. If their feelings do not align with yours, it may be advisable for both of you to take some time and distance to process your emotions before potentially resuming your friendship. However, there's also a strong possibility that they may share similar sentiments. Many fulfilling relationships have their roots in friendship, which can be an exciting transition for both of you. Should your friend's feelings not reciprocate yours, try not to take it personally. Rejection can be disheartening, but it typically reflects the other person's preferences rather than a judgment of your personality or appearance. It's entirely feasible to maintain a friendship with this individual, and a period of separation to sort out your feelings can be beneficial before returning to the friendship as it was. Moreover, your friend may even prove helpful in your pursuit of a future romantic partner. Relationships undergo transformations and evolutions. Friendships change, romantic relationships change, love waxes and wanes, these are all natural facets of life cycles. The key is to embrace and navigate the ups and downs as they come. 
If this person is indeed a true friend to you, they will treat your natural feelings with respect and understanding, and they should never make you feel embarrassed or insecure. Engage in open and honest communication, always prioritizing the utmost respect for one another. Remember, this is your friend, and your bond can endure with the proper care and consideration. Talk to friends in the same group. If you feel uncomfortable discussing your attraction with your friend directly, consider reaching out to your other friends. There's a possibility that they, too, have observed the sexual tension, making them likely to empathize with your emotions. If you're apprehensive about initiating a candid conversation with your friend, you might find it more comfortable to confide in members of your friend group. A socially perceptive friend among your peers might gently assess this person's feelings towards you, or they may already possess insights. While this approach could potentially provide you with information about the other person's sentiments, keep in mind that information relayed through others is secondhand and may not be entirely reliable. In such cases, it may be best to communicate directly with your friend. If your friends have encountered similar situations, they could offer valuable guidance in determining your next steps. Talk to friends or family who don't know your friend. Consider discussing your emotions with someone who is well acquainted with you but doesn't have a connection to the person in question. This approach can be advantageous because you might feel less self-conscious about sharing your feelings when the other person isn't familiar with the individual you're referring to. A trusted friend who maintains a composed demeanor can provide valuable guidance. Furthermore, a true friend will offer unwavering support. If this confidant is aware of the developments in your romantic life, they can offer comfort during difficult times if things don't unfold as expected, and they can join in your celebrations if they do. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new facts. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.